which of the following indicates a flaw in the reasoning above? So the reasoning is the average debt at college graduation is 20,000. If a college student finishes school with $10,000 of debt, he or she has clearly accumulated debt way more slowly or just more slowly than the national average. So already, you know, of course, the first thing we want to do, we know we're looking for a flaw. Whenever you're given actual numbers and then, I mean, basically look for things dealing with the type of things you run into on data sufficiency questions or, or problem solving questions, basically the quant side. Here, we are confusing the actual numbers with the rate at which those things are achieved. So um, without even looking at the answer choices, we can say, you know, actually that's a problem. Just because someone has only 10,000 of debt, that doesn't mean that he or she has clearly accumulated debt more slowly. Um, th that person could have gotten 10,000 in all one year, which um, is a much faster rate than someone who did it more gradually over four, five, six, seven years. Anyway, uh, so choice A really looks like it. Average debt is not the same as the average rate at which it is accumulated. Don't even have to look any further. Choice A.